Hi everyone, very excited to bring you this uh, new video review 2019 e-bike from Risa and Muller This is the Nevo GX roll-off model As you can see it combines a very low step-through frame That's really a feature you would expect to see Historically, really more on town bikes and shopping bikes, that kind of type of bike. Uh, but here it's combined with some off-road features, front suspension and um, MTB, Schwalbe Rock Razor tyres, a very powerful mid-motor down there, the Bosch Performance Line CX motor, one of the most powerful motors out there, Ken Creek suspension just under the seat there uh, so clearly equipped for trail use but also you've got very nice practical features small rack at the front powerful LED lighting recent Muller's own proprietary design of uh, pannier rack at the rear as well so really a very unusual combination uh, add a very stylish combination with the, the, the Nevo funky step through frame at the heart of it all. We'll take a closer look uh, at all the detail right now. Just taking a closer look at the step through frame here. You can see the dimensions of it, just how solid and well built it is and a nice bit of protective plating there on the step through area to stop you scuffing and damaging the plate where you tread on it. The frame also houses the battery as you can see. Very nice key release, very simple. Two stages, drop it down with the key Press the button at the top to drop the battery out. So that's that's clever design. The frame housing the battery there. As you can see, it's got rubber protective flaps to keep water out. As that extra protection, as you can get some spray and mud splashed up from the front wheel. Fitting it back is just a case of locating the step at the bottom. And clicking the battery back in. And coming to the rear end of the frame. Again, extremely solid aluminium alloy members here. With some nice welding on for your uh, attachment of the uh, the frame at the back. You'll also notice the belt drive actually sits below the frame member rather than around it meaning it's very easy to drop the rear wheel out. You just remove this spindle and there's a, a wide connector at the other side for the electronic shifting. Unplug that and uh, the rear wheel just drops straight out of the dropout outs uh, you can't go wrong with the chain tensioning because it's a vertical dropout so as soon as you go back in with the belt drive on it's, ten it's ready tensioned at the correct tension. We're just taking a close look at the motor and drive chain here. A Bosch Performance Line CX mid drive. And in the top power setting you're going to get about a 300% increase on the pedal power you put in there. You simply pedal. The torque sensor within the motor will pick up the pressure you're putting on and give you an extra 300% uh, pedalling effort. Which, if you haven't tried it, believe me, will get you up just about any hill. A little bit more detail on the belt drive here. You can see it's, it's self-centering. It's got a nice cutout in the middle, which meshes onto that central 
onto the central fin of the front sprocket. The front sprocket itself is unusually small. You'll find often they're quite a lot bigger they can hang down sometimes beneath the motor. So that's a very useful feature here. The motor itself is quite hung quite low down on the bike. I mentioned elsewhere in the written report there are other models where the frame design means the motor sits just a little bit higher up so if you're wanting it for kind of slightly more extreme off-road terrain you may be better looking at similar models like the full suspension homage or a delight uh, those are also available with a similar spec i believe a belt drive and a roll off uh, electronic shifting hub so you can keep those features of it uh, but you will obviously lose the very low step through height of this particular frame design on the Nevo. We'll just check out the other side of the transmission here. This is the um, electronic box, so once you've changed the signal comes down the wire there, as you can see. That connector pulls apart for when you want to take the rear wheel out. It comes down to your changer via an electronic signal. A small motor in there changes your gear. So it really it's an, done away with cables and the difficulty of indexing. It's an entirely self-contained system. Uh, very clever, smooth system, quick changing. A superb bit of low maintenance kit. We'll just take you through the display on the handlebars here. It's a Bosch Intuiva display. It's actually easily removable there, as you can see. putting it back on automatically starts the bike up so you've got battery capacity across the top this is your assist level selected with the plus and minus buttons there so you can easily toggle up and down those four assist levels there's lots in the ride report about just how much support those those ride levels give you right up to the 300% setting at the turbo end of the scale Across the bottom you've got a variety of information, a clock, maximum speed, average speed, trip time, the range will vary according to your power setting, so it's giving out 43 miles for eco setting which is about right based on my experience riding on trails and up fairly steep hills with the Nevo. right down to about 20 miles in the top turbo setting. Again, that is reasonably accurate based on my riding experience, I would say. You'll also note you've got your daytime running lights on. And we'll just flip to the gear screen. Just to show you just how we change. Very easy with your right hand simply a thumb movement on the toggling up and down as you can see that's very quick and easy changing if you want to go up three gears at a time simply keep your finger on the button and there we go it's gone 5, 8, 11 toggling up three gears at a time if you're increasing or decreasing your speed very quickly that can be quite a useful feature also got these nice very comfortable wide rubbery ergon grips and these bar ends will give you an alternative position for your hands just to relieve any stress in the wrists and Magura disc brake levers also really part of the cockpit controls you can see the blue lever down there at the top of the uh, Suntor air suspension forks that can be locked out 
like so for road riding so the forks are now completely stiff uh, no suspense, suspension effect at all or you can unlock them in stages that will give you some air suspension then way over anti-clockwise will give you the full effect of the air suspension so that's a really handy feature for switching between tarmac and off-road conditions we're just going to take a look at some of the other features on the recent Muller Nevo now quite unusually it features this uh, very strongly built front rack rated three and a half kilograms you can see it's it uh, turns as you turn the steering the rack turns it's fixed onto the top of the headset there and also top of the forks here so that does mean you're restricted to just uh, a lightweight as I say three and a half kilograms I think it is sorry three kilos there weight rating on that very sturdy front rack I think that's because as you turn if you put heavy weights on that's going to affect your turning rather more than light weights and also you want to make sure you fix anything onto here uh, very well so it's not floating around it can't move or it will affect your turning but still it's a, a, a very useful feature to have you can get racks that fix onto the frame there on, on other designs of bike, not on this particular bike uh, which is a, a a stronger rating or a, will, will take more weight than this uh, I think the reason they've done it this way is if your rack turns with the steering you can put a nice big load on the front something that comes up above the level of the bars so it would have to be fairly light something light and bulky uh, but that just gives you a bit more actual volume carrying capacity doing it that way albeit at a fairly light weight rating we'll take a look at these LED lights then this is the Bush and Muller uh, IQX uh, automatic version that will come on um, daytime running but it will also have a night setting so that uh, that will automatically come on when it gets dark hence I noticed uh, say going up Canal Topaz uh, daytime they, they're just on as normal but once you come into the darker tunnel area you actually get a, gr a greater beam intensity from that light that's a very strong light output there's absolutely plenty there for riding on unlit paths at night you can see you can adjust the beam quite easily up and down you can do that whilst you're riding if you're careful as well and it's a lovely concentrated spread uh, all the light going onto the road in front of you I'll just switch that on there have a look you can just see how it automatically comes on as a daytime running light and just how bright it is then at the rear you've got your LED there as well the wire run is totally concealed just coming out the rear carrier there I don't know if you can see that that wire run there just for the last little bit and that's a 20 kilogram rated rear rack as well so plenty of carrying capacity Just a little bit more about these front forks as well. These are uh, Suntor XCR32 forks. Uh, demonstrated the lockout earlier, which you can see there. Yeah, not uh, a massive amount of travel compared to other off road forks. I think there's about 70 millimeter travel on these, but they're fine for moderate trails. Really good, nice, uh, smooth air suspension and nice smooth rebound on them as well you can see your rebounder just uh, there at the bottom I think and again nice chunky through axle on the wheels and quick release wheels 
if you do happen to get a puncture, very quick dropouts. Comfortable gel saddle there, quite unusual uh, on bikes as well. It's this Cane Creek seat post suspension unit. Uh, that elastoma I think comes in different hardnesses so make sure you get the right hardness for your body weight I think this is more for, for heavier riders really it's actually quite stiff if you can see there's a small amount of movement on that so make sure you get the right um, stiffness of the elastoma I could probably have done with something a bit a bit softer but I have tried them we've got a full review on electric bike report of, of the Cane Creek system and also it's important with this system to make sure you get the the saddle the right distance from the handlebars so you want your weight just kind of over the back here so it's acting on the unit rather than too far forward when it's not really going to be acting on the unit but it's still it's a very very effective surprisingly effective uh, unit for, for uh, basically a, a moving parallelogram with a, a rubbery elastomer insert not the same amount of suspension as uh, a rear shock unit in the frame but it, it's still very welcome And lastly, you've got your frame lock for shopping, cafe stops, etc. Full wrap round fenders, front and rear. And this very sturdy uh, Pletcher Esgi kickstand there. That's the recent mullet. Nevo GX roll-off model, £5,319 in the UK. There's also the option of an extra battery, dual battery. The second battery will fit on top of the down tube there, giving you 1000 watt hours. Uh, and a further option is the uh, Kobe smartphone system, which lets you use your smartphone to control settings and uh, mounts in on the middle of the handlebars in place of that intuiva display the dual battery i think is 839 pounds as an extra option and the kobe is uh, 159 us price uh, for the base model is 7099 dollars check out electricbikereport.com for the full ride report Thanks for watching, see you next time.